So you know how in zombies everything means something. I've been saying this for a very long time and not just me, people have noticed that, I don't know, things from a rock, okay, maybe that maybe that's a little bit far, to a butterfly, to a scarf, even the smallest things in our zombie storyline can mean a lot. So if you didn't already know, a new teaser trailer has been released this time for Dr. Monty and it finally reveals what this guy looks like. And today for you guys, I'm going to break it down because this holds some very interesting secrets. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. You know what to do if you're excited, if you are ready for revelations, drop a like rating. I'm going to show you the trailer and then I'll be back after. Enjoy. This is it. The ether. The infinite. The reality beyond. Beyond the world you know. Beyond your perception. Things are going to get a lot worse before they get better. You change the rules. There are certain things that you can't ever change. All I ask is that you do the right thing. The right thing for everyone. So if that doesn't deserve a like rating, then I don't know what does because that is freaking epic. But we need to get on because there's so much to break down about this. This trailer not only finally shows us who Dr. Monty is, but it reveals a ton of shit about our zombie storyline. The first thing I want to point out is Monty himself. Yes, he's this old man. And by the voice that we heard in Garrod Crovey when he spoke to us, you could kind of tell that he's this old figure. We can see him here. He is a character in a physical body. And he's here in the forest with our Origins characters. Now, I've been looking through the comments of the original trailer on Treyarch's YouTube, and some people have said that he looks like the weasel. Personally, I don't know if it's just me, I can't see it. But one thing you will notice is that he's wearing a scarf. Eli, what the hell does this have to do with anything? Well, this red scarf that Monty is wearing has actually been an Easter egg in Zombies for years. At the start of the video, I said that the smallest things can mean a lot. And this red scarf that we saw in Origins, we also saw it return years later in the giant. At the time, yes, it looked strange, it looks quite out of place, but nothing was ever really made of it. But you now see this red scarf Monty is wearing could be found on a flag post or a pole in Origins, and we also saw it show up in the giants. Now remember that Monty has been watching over our characters for a very long time, but only started to intervene into what they were doing after they opened the portal in Origins. I believe this scarf was found on the post to maybe hint towards him, show that he was there, he existed, and he was watching over. Maybe the scarf in Origins was to indicate that Monty had now become involved because we opened the portal in France. When we opened the portal in Origins, that is when we messed everything up and that is the point as to when Monty intervened with our zombie storyline and that's possibly what this scarf could have been representing. His scarf in our universe, in our world, was a small hint towards Monty. But of course then we wouldn't have known that and we see it once again within the giant. So that finally clears a few things up. But actually what Monty tells us is even more intriguing. He says, this is it. The ether, the infinite, the reality. Beyond, beyond the world, you know, beyond your perception. He then tells us things are going to get a lot worse before they get better, you change the rules. And at this point, we see Takio holding one of the blood vials. He says there are certain things that you can't ever change, but all I ask is that you do the right thing. The right thing for everyone. And at this point, we see him staring our characters in the face as the Revelations logo comes up. So what exactly is Monty telling us? Now, we know this is a teaser for Revelations. And he mentions at the beginning, the ether, the infinite, the reality beyond. Could this him be telling us where we are going to be in Revelations. We know on Richtofen's notes that he doesn't have a set of coordinates as to where DLC 4 is going to be taking place. We found this note in Shadows of Evil of Richtofen's that contained the four locations of our zombies maps, the Giant, the Rise and Draka, Zetsuban Oshima and Garad Karovi. But our final map, Revelations, he doesn't have a set of coordinates. And I thought that this is because it is not in a place what he knows. It is not located on Earth throughout this or any other universe. In fact, Revelations is going to be taking place somewhere beyond. And what Monty is telling us, or he says, the ether, the infinite, the reality 
beyond. And I think this is him telling us where Revelations is, where the house is located, which if that's true, could potentially mean the house that Samantha and Eddie are in is in the ether. It's in the reality beyond. It's in the infinite. It's in a void. It's in between nowhere. It doesn't have a set of coordinates. It's between universes in this black, dark space in the middle of nowhere. And that's where we are going to. He says beyond the world you know, beyond your perception. But we now know that all four of our characters are dead. Our souls have been collected. We have come this far in Garad Karavia and everything seems to be going right. We've collected all the souls inside of the summoning key. You see in the trailer that Richtofen is holding the summoning key and everything seems to be fine. But Dr. Mon he says things are going to get a lot worse before they get better. I thought, and I don't know about you guys, but Revelations was going to be the end. We don't know what to expect, but Monty is telling us that in fact you may think you're going to the house, you're going to be safe, but really things are going to get a lot worse. And the reason for this is because he says you have changed the game. You changed the rules. And as I said, at this point, we see the blood vials. It seems like Monty is telling us because we have collected the blood vials, it's almost like our characters have cheated. Dr. Monty and Maxis gave us this set of rules. They specifically gave Richtofen the set of rules that he needs to follow so that the so that the plan can be completed. But Monty says, you have changed the rules. You haven't followed what you've been told. You've gone out and done your own thing, which is collecting the blood vials, and Monty knows about this. It seems like Monty knows that Richtofen has the blood vials, and so he's telling him that in fact, things are going to get a lot worse before they get better. He says there are certain things that you can't ever change, but all I ask is that you do the right thing for everyone. So it seems to me like Monty is giving us a choice. Yes, he knows that we have cheated, that we have changed the rules, that Richtofen specifically hasn't really gone to what he was told. And it seems like Monty knows, although it was supposed to be a secret, Monty knows Richtofen has the blood vials. And so he's told him things are going to get a lot worse before they get better, but it's up to you to make the choice. He's telling us to do the right thing for everyone. Think about it. To me, it almost sounds like he's saying, Luke, do not use the blood vials. Just ignore them. Pretend you never got them. Go along with the plan. Because if you do, then that is the right thing for everyone. If you use the blood vials, I don't know. That could be selfish. It could ruin the plan that Monty has. But we don't know. Or I can't really tell if Monty's plan is evil. If Monty is an evil character. Or if he really is trying to do good. I mean, he seems like a good character. He's been watching over us. He's been giving us our perk machines, the mystery box, these chalk drones on the walls of the guns to help us out. But could Monty, just like Richtofen did in the past, have done all this for his own agenda? He helped us out so that in the end he could get what he wanted. When really he wasn't looking out for us. He was just helping us to help himself. Or is he actually trying to do the right thing. Let me know what you think about Monty in the comment section below. Is he good? Is he evil? Leave that as a single word comment in the comment section and it should be an awesome debate to have. So anyway, I forgot to mention, but also notice how you hear the little jingle, the little soundtrack, the little music song that you hear within Mob of the Dead. The same theme you hear within the trailer. Remember I said everything means something, so we have loads of links. Origins, Mob of the Dead, this is all getting freaking interesting. So anyway, thank you for watching the video. This is definitely an interesting one and I cannot wait to see what Treyarch give us. Hopefully they give us a ton more before Revelations because I do not want the zombie storyline to end. Please do not end, guys. This is awesome. Drop a like rating if you have enjoyed. Make sure you are subscribed for more Zombies videos and I will see you in the next one. Thank you and goodbye.